today happy days yeah right so I've got it about me today now we've got a bit of warm weather start getting the fry vat sorted <coughs> pardon me so what I'm planning on doing is um, right so I'm going to cut a piece of this egg crate or whatever you want to call it put it in the bottom of there about that high um, then I'm going to fill it with all bits of plastic media and whatnot that I've collected before I've done that I'm going to put um, an air stone down the bottom and run the line out here so I can um, blast it full of air open the uh, tap and let it all run to waste I'm just going to put hopefully I can find a smaller one but I'm just going to put a tank connector on there for the return um, all I'm going to do I'm going to have a small pump coming straight up hose going straight through the top because I haven't got a, a really small tank connector and it'll just be fed down to the bottom but I'll show you all that as we go so yeah right at the stage now just cleaned all this out got some uh, bricks and I'm just working stuff out so I mean this is all got to be boxed in it and uh, insulated eventually so yeah right I'm gonna crack on and I'll be back in a sec Right, I'm going to need to cut this in half to get it into the top of the uh, water, but I don't know if you can see me mark there a bit, you can see it. But yeah, I'm going to get this cut now and, <clears throat> pardon me, I'm going to raise it off the bottom with some uh, short lengths of pipe and I'm going to hold the pipes to this with some rib ties. So I'm going to get this cut now and hopefully my measurements are right, probably not knowing me, but yeah, I'll give it a go, give it a go. Okay, so there's the bottom grid. I've had to uh, do that side taller than that side to get it to fit in. But yeah, I'm going to get that into the bottom now. And uh, I should be back in a sec. Okay, that's how it sits in the bottom. Um, I might need another one there, I'll check in a minute. Like, But yeah, and then uh, all loads of uh, plastic media is going to go on top of that. Air stone underneath there, which I'm going to put in now. Uh, so yeah, I'm doing it a bit... Arse about face like but you get the general idea okay so yeah there's the air stone down underneath the uh, void in the bottom that's to blast air up through and then uh, I'll undo this tap and let all the uh, waste water come out so next I need to get this all in position and get the bulkhead fitted and then I'll show you the media that I'm using cheers Right, so this is an old tank connector that I've uh, salvaged off something else. You can see there that something's been solvent welded into it, so I can't use it the way that it's meant to, but that fits perfectly in there, so I can use it in reverse. I've got some little uh, rubber grommet thing, gasket thing, so that should uh, be watertight. That's it. Saves using a brand new one. Right. Okay, so that's how the filter's going to sit. Uh, it's, uh, there's a void up to here with an air stone underneath it. So I can blast air through there, agitate all the media, and then uh, whoop, drain it straight down there, all the dirty water. So yeah, right, I'll show you all the bits of media I'm going to put in there now. Okay, so the media I'm going to be using in it is load of these bottle tops which I've got to go through I've got to get all these out give them a good clean and I'm thinking of PP in them but the rest of it I'm gonna to have to PP this which I don't know if you remember from my old filter and there's a bit of it in my moving bed so I've got all that this all needs cleaning um, I've got this little bit of pipe conduit and then I've got all this to cut up and put in there as well but like I say it all needs cleaning and that's definitely going to need PP in because it's filthy absolutely filthy so yeah right next stage I don't know whether to cut some of these up and put these in the bottom for the for the initial uh, filtration but I've still got my thinking cap on so I'm going to get uh, sorting all this stuff out and I'll be back to you soon right so that's all these sorted now I need to wash them because it's got like loads of milk and pop and god knows what dried in on them so yeah i'm gonna pp these just to give them a bit of a better surface area because it'll uh, one it'll sterilize everything and two it'll it'll rough everything up a bit and let the bacteria grab hold to these a bit easier and uh, that other media 
but all the plastic media definitely needs a good uh, sterilise. So yeah, I'm going to crack on with cleaning this now and then I'm going to leave this all to soak. Cheers. Right, so I'm just giving this media a good clean and a few flushes out and then it's going to go into soak in PP just to kill any nasty bugs or anything that might be uh, living on there, any dead bacteria that's like gone manky or anything, so right, that's that. There's all the bottle, uh, bottle tops. I need a good wash. There's a pump I'm using. Um, yeah, so I don't know if I mentioned, I've got two, two and a half thousand litre pump there. All I'm going to do is I'm going to pump straight from there directly into the bottom of here not through a bulkhead or tank connector or anything i'm just going to put the pipe right down to the bottom so yeah hopefully it doesn't uh, keep riding up but the media should hold it in place anyway right i'll crack on right okay that's all the media soaking in uh, pp now that'll uh, clean it make it nice and sanitary sanitary whatever the word is and it will etch the surface slightly of the uh, pot bottles when we come back tomorrow or maybe the day after I'll uh, show you what I mean I might chuck a little handful of K1 in and show you the before and after so you can get a proper good look at it like but yeah right I'll be back in a sec well that's had a good 24 hours to soak now should all be clean now and etched slightly so I'm going to get this drained off now give it a good rinse and uh, get it into the filter cheers right, I'm going to give this a good rinse now until the water runs completely clear and then I'm going to leave it out to dry until it's absolutely bone dry I've got no residue on it at all so I'm going to crack on with that now drain it all off and leave it out to dry in these two tubs How's it going guys? Yeah, it's a bit windy today, so I don't know if it's going to make the mic go funny like, but yeah. Well, this was dry, but it started raining now, so uh, that should be fine. I'll flush it out again when I put it into the filter anyway, so yeah, I've got the uh, grid in the bottom of there. I need to put the inlet hose in now, so I'll do that now before I put the media in I'll show you. Right, cheers. Oh, the weather's bloody miserable today, so right. I've got the air stone down there to blast it out to clean, agitate the media and then I've got a tap at the bottom to flush it out. Uh, this is the inlet, it's just simply placed down there into the centre of the um, water butt for now. So, next thing to go on top of that grid is the media and yep, so I'll get cracking with that. Cheers. Right, that's all that media in. I'm going to have to cut some of my old mats up and uh, stack them up on top because there's not as much uh, media as I thought in there and then I'll put floss on the very top but yeah it's all in now I'd say bottle tops are probably going to be all right for mechanical bit of bit of uh, biological but these the straps that you get around like pallets and everything the plastic ones are perfect the ones that are in the moving bed are completely caked in bacteria they've got a really good surface uh, texture straight off the bat they're free, you can, I mean you could just shred these up and have them like as a big uh, like knotted mass for mechanical and um, it'd do both so yeah well anyway I'm going to crack on with these, cut them down to fit, get them stacked in and crack on, cheers guys. Okay so I'm just going to chop all uh, the bigger ones up and uh, start stacking them in like that so that'll stop all the media floating out anyway. And then on top of that we'll have a bit of filter floss. Not that I really need it for this because I'm not bothered about what colour the water is as long as the water parameters are um, good. That's all I'm bothered about so let's get trimming. Okay so that's all them in there. Uh, on top of that just going to be filter floss. I won't put that in just yet though. Oops, sorry about the wind. Yeah I won't put that in just yet though because I don't really need it at the minute. Uh, I'm going to get this all hooked up now and uh, see if it runs okay. Right, scratch that. I can't test it yet because I've got to fill this up and it's going to take bloody God knows how long trickling in. So I'm going to get this all filled up now um, and I'll come back to you whenever that may be when this is full. 
Ooh, it's windy and rainy today, right. Uh, I mean, that's probably running still too fast for this dechlorinator, but yeah, got that trickling in there. I'm just going to set the pump up now, uh, put the filter back on its stand, and then uh, just let this fill up slowly. So I'm going to do that now. Right, I've got the pump set up there, but that is deadly. That's an accident waiting to happen. So I'm going to get that wrapped up with some insulation tape now, get rid of any sharp bits, so whatever fish do go into here, don't get to uh, injure themselves. Right, right. So that's taped up nice and safe now. No sharp bits at all. So uh, that's safe for the fish. I think that trickles more realistic. When um, when I put my overflow in this year on the main pond, that's probably about the trickle in that I'll have. So that's about right. Right. Let's get this in crack on right until this is insulated because um, we're not out of the woods of the cold weather yet I just grabbed one of these stainless steel 500 watt heaters uh, it's like a thermostat one so it won't boil them hopefully yeah it's a 500 watt which is plenty enough for that I don't really want to be burning 500 watts of power like I'll probably see me uh, meter spinning around like but yeah it's just in case when I do put some fish in here, if we have like a massive temperature drop, this will stop it fluctuating, it'll balance it out like. I'm not planning on heating the tank as of yet, um, just as a precaution against uh, sudden dropping in weather. So yeah, looks alright so far. It's got some suckers on it, I'll have to put a chop block and a little uh, weather seal box on it because the wire's only short and I need the power to come into the shed. So I'll have to uh, extend the wire with a chop block and... Uh, a little weatherproof junction boxy thing on there so yeah that's where we am at the moment it's going to take a long time for this to fill up but no drama although I could probably fill it up fast and put the air stone in there and it's just evaporate it all out anyway but I'll uh, leave it there for now because this bloody wind speak to you soon Right, that's that all up and running. Sorry about the wind again. Yes, yeah, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave this like overnight, monitor the temperature with my max and min thermometer thing, see what it goes like. Um, then I will, once I've got my little waterproof junction boxy thing, I will put the heater in here as well. Um, and hopefully this will maintain a good temperature. So what's going to happen with this is um, I've got some boards coming off my friend. Um, so I'm going to put some posts up, yay high, box all this in with a little, leave a little recess so I can uh, in, put some insulation in, either uh, fiberglass stuff or maybe some um, king span or something, stuff some underneath as well. And that's the filter as we stand at the minute, this will constantly get tweaked. It's uh, up there now, it's running fine, the only leak I've got is from that actual tap. It's a very, very slow drip, so, ah, I just saw that then, it looks like there's some coming out of there, but yeah, I can sort that, that's no drama. So yeah, that's it. Right, that's all up and running, I'm happy with that. Right then, I shall speak to you soon. Right then, yep, it's been running a good few hours now, it's all running perfect, uh, well did that in there, because I did have a drip coming out of there. Like I showed you before, I did have a drip on that, but I've put a hose on there. I can use that to empty it anyway. Put a little bit of clay in here just to get the pH stabilised. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, as long as I can get the temperature stable, the fish from inside will be going in there until we get some fry. Ooh, sorry about the wind. Yeah, so as always people, thanks for watching and I'll speak to you soon.